Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete your invoices from QuickBooks Online using the new invoice format. What I'll do is I'll start by going to an invoice. So I'm going to click on plus new and then I'll go to invoices. There's lots of ways to get to invoices. This is just the way that I'm choosing. I'm going to click the clock in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to look for the invoice that I want to delete. Let's say that I want to delete this one 1007. I'm going to go ahead and select it. What we used to do is go to the bottom and there would be an option for more and then delete. That no longer exists. We now need to go to actions. Just in case you don't see it, I want to show you how to get that to show up. What you'll want to do is click on the gear in the upper right hand corner of your screen that says manage. Then the side menu will open. You'll be able to select actions and then select delete. When you delete the invoice, it deletes it. There's no coming back and there's no undo. So I'm going to go ahead and select delete. It says exactly what I just told you. When I delete this, it's gone. I'm going to choose delete. It now says that it's deleted. If I go to the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner and I search for invoice number 1007, it doesn't exist. Let me just show you one other spot to verify or show you that it's been deleted. I know you can go to the invoices, but what fun is that? Let's go to reports. Let's look at the audit log. The audit log is, is just a log of everything that's happened in your QuickBooks file. There's a lot of stuff that I do in here, but let's change the event and let's say, I want to look at all the deleted transactions. Invoice 1007 has been deleted. I can click on the history. I can view it. I can look at all kinds of things, but I want you to see there's no put it back button. So that's it. I've deleted it. It's pretty simple to delete. There's a record saying that I deleted it. If I want it back, I have to go put it back just like I entered it in the first place. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for videos, please let me know in the comments. If you want to provide Intuit any feedback on the new invoice, I recommend you open up the new invoice and select feedback in the upper right hand corner. Thanks and have a great day.